How's it going Star Seekers? My name's Luke and welcome back to the channel for another Asset Flip warning video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Bring Honey Home, a game which was released yesterday by our new favourite asset flipper, Benjamin Kistler. Now this is actually the second of three asset flips Big Ben is releasing on the store this week and I'll have a video out in the next few days for his other game and a brand new asset flip from the boys over at Pixarts so make sure to subscribe to be warned about those and any future asset flips that I spot. Now if you've watched a couple of these videos and ever wondered why I bother making them well there are actually a couple of reasons. Firstly as with my shovelware reviews I want to save people money it's unlikely that these guys are going to be making massive amounts of money with the scams considering the quality of the games, but what might be only a few quid to you and me could be some kid's allowance, and I personally feel better knowing that they aren't wasting it on asset flips and funding the endeavours of these assholes. Secondly, and more importantly though, seeing these kind of games constantly popping up on the eShop just really pisses me off. The great video game crash of the 80s was partly caused by market saturation as hundreds of shitty games flooded the stores, which is ironic since Nintendo played a huge part in the recovery. I also feel that they genuinely deal damage to smaller indie game developers who put incredible amounts of effort into creating their games and then have to struggle to get them noticed amongst all the other shit on the eShop. So yeah, I'm well aware that these videos don't get many views, but those are the genuine reasons that I create them and will continue to do so. Even if they only have minimal impact in the grand scheme of things, I still feel they're making a difference, and you guys can always help out by sharing them and getting the word out. Anyway, let's get on to the game. So Bring Honey Home is a kind of hexagon based puzzle game where you're given an empty grid which comes in various shapes and sizes and you have to fit all of the pieces at the bottom of the screen into the grid to complete the level. While it's generally not a bad concept for a puzzle game, I could see it becoming a little tedious after the first 60 levels or so and there are about 3 billion of these games available for free on the Apple and Android app stores, including an identical pair of asset flips titled Honey Puzzle and Honeycomb Puzzle. Now the asset that's been used to create all of these games can be found on the Unity Asset Store under the title Hexa Puzzle Block. It costs around 88 euros which is a damn sight more expensive than Kistler's previous venture with Red Ball Escape, hence the game's price being significantly higher on the eShop. Now as with the previous game, Hexa Puzzle Block is a complete asset package, meaning it contains everything you need to produce the game and it also includes a complete game designer allowing you to create your own levels. However, if we go off the eShop listing we can see that Bring In Honey Home contains 240 levels, which coincidentally is the same amount of pre-made levels included in the asset pack. And if the single eShop screenshot is anything to go by, Kessler has likely just used all of these sample levels in his game and not even bothered to create his own. Now the asset store listing for Hexa Puzzle Block also contains a demo APK, which allows you to try the game out before buying the asset. And after having a little go of it, I found that the demo's first level also matches the eShop screenshot, so that's just a little more evidence to back up my claims. Now I'll leave a link to the Unity asset where you can also find the demo, though it's probably easier just to download one of the games that I mentioned on your phone if you're that bothered about playing it. Hopefully this video helped you out and possibly saved you a bit of money, and if it did or if you just enjoyed the video then don't forget to hit that like button. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on the game and asset flips in general in the comments section below and I'll have another couple of asset flip videos out later in the week so go ahead and subscribe if you want to be notified of them as well as reviews of actual games that I publish every few days. For now though I want to thank you all once again for watching and until next time take care of yourselves and game on.